It's the NFL on EA Sports. And front and center is Jacoby Brissett. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Commanders and the 49ers, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. Well, this building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, Week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn on this final day of 2023, New Year's Eve. Folks are fine-tuning their resolutions, fitness clubs ready for that January boon. But these two teams have one more important piece of business to take. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Shedding the tackle and it gives him some room. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing, and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real, and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. Oh, he shifts past. accelerating, and off he goes. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 42 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. Now that's a big-time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. the play fake. Murphy taking a shot for Samuel. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Niners at 13-2 and two on the year. And they come in on the heels of yet another victory. That ran their win streak, Charles, up to seven now. And I think that that last win, that established them and stamped them to me as Super Bowl front runners. They're playing with extreme confidence. And you need that in order to go all the way. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And the Commanders are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. He's hoping for better luck here on drive number two. Of course, the first drive, he threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. And now starting again here, first and ten.
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, able to avoid it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Holding offense. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. The yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Here's Murphy. From the gun, he'll throw. Finding room at midfield. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Operating from the gun, Murphy. It's caught, Mitchell. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Well, always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Second down and a yard. A handoff left. McCaffrey, nifty move. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Try and pick it up, and McCaffrey ships by him. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They go play action here on first down. Touchdown 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are back within a score. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head, after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the interception on the opening drive, but bounced back to throw a touchdown last time out. And he'll look to build on that as they start first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Murphy. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jennings. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. to throw. Murphy. 
He's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Again, he'll drop to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Well, you got to think Charles Atwin's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. To throw is Murphy. Off play action. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. I don't know if he sent in contact to curve or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Now Murphy off the play fake. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. on first and ten. That ball caught Brandon Ayuk. And he is out of bounds in 
inside the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. Another good throw there in what has been a strong rookie season to this point, Charles, as he now has surpassed the 3,000-yard mark. Ron Rivera scowling down on the sideline, and he's thrown out the red challenge flag. The previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, ruling on the field. Stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Up the gun, McCaffrey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Murphy now looking to throw on second down. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. 72 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it, and the running game is starting to pay off. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. And the 49ers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, <laughs> alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Well, not many guys who can go up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. 
But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Looking to throw. Murphy. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. Down to the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Niners extend their fourth quarter lead, and they are closing in now on a 14-win campaign. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. Was that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate. And now off to the races, down the right side. Christian McCaffrey racing to the end zone. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, 
Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing.